Got some initiations today on the semi space. AMD initiated uh, a buy. Intel and NVIDIA both hold. We've made them our call of the day. Let's do um, Intel first. Okay, Jenny, um, you're just going to hold on here? Yeah. And hope, and hope for the best? Well, this is okay. You know how there's a new, to new 52. Fuzzy math forgive me. I'm sorry. New 52 week low oh, yeah. today. Um, and lows not seen since May of 2016. Sorry to, to interrupt you there. I just wanted to get that out there. No, and that's important. But actually, it brings up a really important point, which is every day as a portfolio manager, you need to look at what's in your portfolio and you need to say, what's the opportunity cost of holding this? both upside and downside. And you need to say, would I buy this here today? And so just because, and I get this from clients a lot, where they say, well, it's down 40%. Shouldn't you sell it? Absolutely not. I should say, at $30 a share, what is the upside potential from here? And if the upside potential from there, from here is more than I can find in other stocks, then I want to own it. You're and telling me that in, you can find more upside in this than you can find in other stocks well, from here at 30 let's bucks? Go back. Let's go back to the patience that I just talked about on Uber and being early. And I think that this is, if we look at the whole initiation or the whole report, we've got AMD, where that assumption on AMD as, as a buy is that AMD will continue to take Intel's market share indefinitely. I am going to bet that, it, that Intel will fight back and will get back to reasonable earnings. Um, the assumption on Nvidia is that 37 times earnings is fine. So with Intel, and by the way, this is one, like, two or less percent position in a portfolio. So am I willing to say, yes, I think Intel has upside from here and it's meaningful and I'm comfortable continuing to hold it? At this point, the answer is yes. Okay. Because I think they do get back, even if it takes two or three years, mm -hmm. to, um, to, you know, five, six bucks of earnings. In that analyst report, one of the things he says is that we'll be willing to upgrade it when the catalysts start to come in. Okay. I want to be early to those catalysts because I believe the shares will move in advance. Okay, Steve Weiss, um, you've been in and out of some chip names, none right now, and, and you have been short the SMH too. Just update us on where this currently stands because it frankly can change a lot. Well, I don't hear Weiss. We'll try and get him back as uh, yeah, right. obviously. Scott. Oh, wait, I do got uh, you. Start over. Yeah. Okay, I, I'm flat in the position right now, no position. Look, the way I look at it, NVIDIA, I still think is expensive. Uh, if the company's earnings forecast, according to Steve Flanagan, hit their target, they'll earn what they earned in 2021. So you're writing off 2022. Uh, I don't think a company like that deserves a multiple. That's twice what the market is. Uh, AMD, I like. Um, I don't own it yet. I think the CEO, Lisa Su, has done a phenomenal job remaking this company. I mean, this is one of the biggest jokes of the market for decades, and she's completely mm -hmm. turned it around. And Intel, I just can't believe there are better opportunities out there. The Intel, nothing's been lived up to by the new CEO, came with lots of pomp and circumstance, right. and hasn't been able to put it together. So, so maybe he needs some Zyrtec. Okay. I don't know. Jason so, Snipe, quickly on NVIDIA. Hold, you own it. Um, 165 is 20% upside from here. Yeah, so this is a definite hold for me. I mean, it's a core part of our portfolio. I mean, the, the license, licensing, um, you know, so some of the stuff with the licensing and obviously some of the restrictions and the guide down and, and, and obviously uh, the report as of late, the, the earnings report weren't great. You know, gaming revenue, crypto mining, a lot of these, a lot of headwinds for the stock FX. But I think going forward, I mean, just in terms from an innovation perspective, I mm -hmm. just think they're so far ahead of a lot of their competitors. So I think I think it's still worth owning. Okay.